Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the makeup sponge versus the silly sponge and I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge which I literally just opened. The packaging is over here and this is the second time I've had to film this introduction because the last one was too dark. See if you can guess which side is the silly sponge and which side is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. So keep watching to see how these worked on my face. So before I started testing these sponges on my face I used the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base and then the foundation that I used was the number 7 Beautifully Matte Foundation and you guys have not seen this on any of my videos yet I used to use the number 7 Beautifully Matte Light which is the light coverage version of this foundation but I thought I wanted to try a heavier coverage because I've always had light coverage foundations and I just really wanted to see how a heavier coverage one would look on me and I actually really do like this, it provides heavy coverage and it just covers everything that you don't want to be seen so it really is great. I also use the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Fair. I think I said that later on in the video when I start doing my makeup but yeah that is the concealer that I use and I really do need a new one. I've had this for like a year now and all of the packaging is rubbed off so yeah and this is in the shade Fair one if I didn't already just mention that. So when I first got this out of the package it was considerably smaller. I have wet it and it has expanded and it's very squishy and after one time use this is what the sponge looked like so it definitely is like not as mucky as I would have expected it because I do own the Real Techniques diamond sponge as well and obviously when you buy this this is like a white marble effect and as soon as I use this it like the foundation went all over it immediately but that's probably because it's white and this one is orange so it's kind of like more similar to the colour of a foundation type thing. Obviously foundations and orange, I mean some are but um, this is more similar than white obviously. White is going to get a lot dirtier a lot quicker. And by the way guys, I have had this uh, a month, this sponge, exactly a month today because I'm filming this on the 25th of January, got it on Christmas day and it has all these like rips in it and I just don't know what it's from and I sent a picture to my friends who really do like makeup as well and I said is this normal and they were like I don't know like I don't think so because they would not ever had it happen to them so I want to know what I'm doing wrong because I've used this once and this has already got kind of like a cut in it as well like here right there it's not big and when I like don't squeeze it you can't really see it so I think what I'm doing is when I wet the sponges I think I'm squeezing it too hard to get the excess water out because I've literally only used this once on my face and I think I must be squeezing them too hard because this has got like ones all over it and I still do use this sponge I'm probably going to start using this one now because this one doesn't have them all over hopefully it won't ever have them all over I know it's got one and that's really annoying me but uh, yeah I still do use this sponge and it is usable but it's just like it looks a bit awful when it's got all these like cuts and rips in it so if you guys know what I'm doing wrong please let me know in the comments down below so obviously this sponge is not porous so it doesn't absorb any of the product and this sponge is porous so it absorbs more product when you put it on your face. That's what I heard in previous videos. So I'm just going to start by applying the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base. So I've just applied my primer all over my face and I'm just going to put two pumps of foundation onto the back of my hand. In fact I've done one and a half because I know that the silly sponge won't absorb any of it so I've just done one and a half not as much as usual and I'm going to put um, equal amounts all over my face so I'm going to start off with the sponge on this side of my face so so far I'm quite liking this um, sponge uh, this is obviously the biggest part of it, so that helps you to blend the flat, like the flat side is the biggest part of it, which helps you to blend the main bit of your foundation out. And then for getting around the nose, there's this pointy end, which you can just like get around your nose really easily. And obviously, you can use that for getting under your eyes with concealer and stuff. And we will test the concealer out once we've done the foundation with both sponges. Okay, so that is the side 
with the Beauty Blender and this sponge has not got as mucky as my diamond one did when I first used it but I'm not sure if that's just due to the colour of the sponge being orange and the colour of the diamond sponge being white when you first buy it. Obviously mine is like not uh, white anymore, mine's like definitely foundation colour. Um, but yeah, that is like really not that bad but I think there is obviously product that's soaked into it but um, after the first use it's still pretty like pretty like looks new really um but obviously that one is obviously it gets a lot of foundation on it when you first use it because it is white so before my foundation dries in these splodges that i've put on my face i'm going to use a silly sponge so i've heard that you are meant to oh wow this is strange you meant to spread it and this feels so weird I feel like the spreading is kind of blending it though at the same time. And I've watched other people's videos and they always had like way too much product on because obviously the silly sponge doesn't absorb any. Um, but this doesn't appear to be, um, like it doesn't appear to me that I have too much product on. And I've got foundation on my trousers, how great. So I'm just spreading this out and it appears to have like blended in already probably going to pat it in after but honestly I'm quite liking this and I know a lot of people don't seem to like it I'm going to start patting it now but as you can see it pretty much still looks clean I mean you can tell that there's something on there but I really actually do like this sponge I honestly didn't think I would <laughs> this sound is awful but I didn't think I would at first, but I don't mind it, you know. I actually do like it, and I can't really tell a difference to either to like both sides either. Just gonna go get my concealer now because I'm pretty sure that both sides are blended out. I honestly, my like so far, um, I really do like both. So now we're going to try the concealer with the two sponges and so far I'm really liking both of the sponges. I think they've both done a great job and to be honest so far I can't tell a difference between either side. So I'm just going to do my under eye concealer first with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I think that's the name of it, I'm pretty sure it is. But yeah, let's just do my under eyes with this first. And also, since wetting this sponge, it has become a lot softer. Because I said it was quite hard at the beginning. But it's a lot softer now. So yeah, let's put this under my eyes. That was a bad idea to put it under there. Because this concealer dries so quick. It's just a last imperfection one, by the way. So I'm going to have to blend both really quick now. Because I've put them both under, put them under both eyes. So I'm just going to use the um, pointy end of this sponge. So I really like the um, way that that blended that under eye concealer out. There's no like, it's like seamless. So I'm just going to use the silly sponge now. This is actually really hard to get under your eyes. And now I'm realising that I've put way too much concealer under my eyes because I forgot about not putting too much on. It's also really annoying because when you first use this sponge you have to drag the product around and it's really hard to do that under your eyes because obviously your under eyes are very delicate and the skin under there is thinner than all of the other skin. So I realise that I've put too much on. I'm going to try and pat it in but it kind of really does hurt underneath the eyes. I might have to finish doing this blending with my finger. On the plus side though, this would be extremely easy to clean because no product could get in because it's not porous. So, there we go. I'm just going to have to finish the blending of this side with this because, like I said, I think that was my fault. I think I put... Oh my goodness gracious. I can't believe it. I've already got a little cut in this sponge and it's literally the first time I've used it. Can you see that there when I like squeeze it a bit? I think when I'm wetting them I must be like squeezing them too hard because I squeeze them after I've wetted them and uh, to like get the excess water out and I think I must not be doing it gently enough so 
that must be what I'm doing because that's literally all I've done with this sponge and it's the first time I've used it so where is that coat I've lost it hopefully that won't get any bigger so that was me testing out the silly sponge and the real techniques complexion miracle miracle complexion sponge that's the one so I'm gonna go off and do the rest of my makeup now all I'm gonna do is powder eyebrows and eyelashes and maybe a bit of lipstick because I don't wear eyeshadow on the day um, like on the everyday basis type thing sometimes I do but not every day so I'm just gonna go and do that now and then I'll come back to you for the final verdict on how each side of my face looks so I have just finished applying the rest of my makeup I also forgot to mention that I applied bronzer and highlighter too and from looking in the mirror over there I thought that the silly sponge side was better but I'm gonna just like see what I think because my uh, filming light is on so I might be able to get a truer picture of what it looks like because when I was over in my mirror I thought that the silly sponge side had definitely given like a lot heavier coverage like obviously because the sponge doesn't absorb product it had like given like put the foundation on more because it hadn't absorbed it and I really liked that so I definitely think that the silly sponge is worth it and if you get the one that I got which is not the official one it's one I bought from Amazon for like five pounds but I'm pretty sure that the silly sponge is like around the same price as that maybe just shipping costs vary but um it's definitely worth it because I really like it um it gives like a like quite I think flawless and higher coverage because it doesn't absorb any of the product but this one gives the um, Beauty Blender sponge gives a more natural coverage, obviously because it does absorb some of the product because of its porous, you know, porous tendencies, if that's what you want to say. So, depending on what kind of coverage you like, I'd definitely say if you want a more natural coverage for every day, I'd use the um, Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge. But the Silly sponge is definitely great for if you like, like days when you want to have a heavier coverage or nights out or stuff and I'm not sure if you can see that on camera but my highlighter like it's popping with this light um so yeah um I definitely really do like it I didn't think I would but I'm surprised so yeah thanks guys for watching I hope you've enjoyed and please thumbs up if you would like to see more videos like this I know I said this in my last videos but there's definitely going to be a room tour coming very soon I have literally got I think one more thing to do to it till it is completely finished so hopefully it will be coming very soon I have videos planned for the next few weeks so hopefully you'll be get, definitely getting videos from me please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you like my channel and you're new here and you haven't subscribed already please click the subscribe button down below it's completely free and I upload every other Sunday now because I started college and A levels are stressing me out and they take up so much time so yeah I will see you in two weeks is it gonna be two weeks yeah it'll be two weeks so I'll see you in two weeks guys bye I'm 21 and